welcome to the third video of the Jokto series. In this video, we are going to discuss about local.conf file. So, local.conf file is basically used to customize the image to add the packages that we need uh, in our image. So, in the last or the first video, we have seen there are a couple of variables that we set. So, in this video, we are going to analyze the local.conf file and we will know the meaning of those variables or configurations that we set earlier. So the first variable that we are going to discuss is the machine variable. So Yocto builds the Linux distribution for the various embedded boards. So BeagleBone Black is one of them. So here we set the machine variable to the BeagleBone Black. This is our target board for which we are we we uh, already built the image. Here are other couple of uh, distributions or couple of boards which Pokey supports or for which we can build the Yocto images. For example, there is generic x86, generic x86 64, and edge routers. Furthermore, the other boards for example raspberry pi or if you are using nxp boards or texas instrument other boards so they will provide a meta layer or a layer in which the machines will be available and instead of beagleborn black or these you can write here the machine name that they provide so how can we use this machine or what does it mean of using this machine so this means that there are some specific configurations that are related to BeagleBone Black that we need to add. So where do we find this file? In if we are using just Pokey and no other distribution or no other board like uh, Raspberry Pi or NXP board. So if we go to if we directly go to this Meta and here in the if we go to Conf in Machines. So here you can see that there are QEMUs, QEMUs, QEMU based machines which are uh, used for the emulation of the embedded software but we are not able to see BeagleBone Black here. So the BeagleBone Black is in another meta layer. If we go to meta Yocto BSP and in conf and in machines here you can find BeagleBone Yocto conf, edge router conf generic x86 64 conf and generic x86 conf if you look inside this beaglebone black yocto conf here you see the some beaglebone related configurations that we are going to see in the future videos because this is uh, a, this is a advanced topic so right now it is enough to know that there is some configuration for the machine that we are using and the name that we write here or that we set here the Yocto is going to build the image for this particular machine. The second thing that I want to discuss is the source folder. So in source folder there are three main folders this download folder, estate cache folder and temp folder. This DLDIR or download directory stores the path of our downloads. So download directory is a variable in Yocto project build system that specifies the directory where source code archives for packages will be downloaded. The directory is used by build system to store the downloaded source code for package so that it does not need to download them again if they are required for a subsequent build. What does it mean? It means that for example, uh, here is our source folder. If I go inside the source folder, and here we have three other folders. So we go inside this download folder. And here we can see that there, uh, there are some zip files. So these zip files are the sources of these particular packages. For, 
for example for Chrome and for CMake so it downloads it once and it stores here so for example later on we want to build our system so it will not download it again it will use these uh, source files of a particular system from here this will boost up our build time it means that the time that our build system firstly is spent on downloading now it will be reduced because we already have these download packages the second is s state dir uh, s state dir is a variable that specifies the directory where state shared shared state cache files are stored uh, the shared state cache contains the pre-built binary packages for software components used and build it means that if a package is built then it binary is stored in s state cache what is the benefit of this? What is the advantage of this? The advantage of this is if we did not make any changes in our sources, so and if we build our system once again, the system, the build system will not compile that particular binary, but it will fetch that binary from this S state cache. So if we look in S state cache, inside a state cache you will find a lots and lots of folders if we go in one so again there are folders and in here you find some file but this file is not uh, readable only build system can read this file so build system saves the binaries pre-built binaries uh, of a particular package and it can reuse for later builds but if we delete this, then this SD cache process or step will work again and it will again compile and it will take a lot of time. The third directory is temdir. Uh, temdir is an environment variable that specifies the directory to be used for temporary files by various programs and scripts. So in Yocto, uh, the temp dir is used as the location for the build directory where all the build artifacts are stored during the build process. So if we are building a particular package, if Yocto is building or if this build process is building a particular package, it will <coughs> use this temp directory to compile to un first to un unpack, then to compile the files and so on and the binaries will be also be held and then it will pack the binaries to our image so if we go here in temp in work in cortex and here you can see that there are lots of packages the name the folders of lots of packages so for example if you go to this cheese it this right now you only see the temp because I have cleaned this directory but if we don't clean this directory you will see the source file and the build folder and the all other scripts and package and uh, libraries that we need to build this particular package but right now they are not there because I cleaned it so the next configuration is this true pocky uh, distro variable specifies the name of a distribution uh, that is being built uh, a distribution is a collection of software components uh, and the configuration files that work together to create a completely linux based operating system uh, but here we are using the pokey this the setting distro to pokey means that the build system will use the configuration files and packages uh, that are part of the reference distribution pokey is our reference distribution that we are using to build our Linux embedded system but for example uh, if we are using Raspberry Pi or some other distribution or some other embedded board they will provide their own distro but that distro will be also based on Pokey so right now for Beagle Room Black we are directly using Pokey no other distro feature the package classes uh, variable is a configuration variable it specifies the types of package to be created for the target system so in our case it is set to 
RPM package RPM which means that the Yocto project will create RPM packages so these RPM packages uh, or RPM package management system that are wide, that is widely used uh, in many Linux distribution including Red Hat, uh, Fedora and CentOS likewise there is a package Debian uh, which is used in Debian and uh, Ubuntu systems and likewise IPK is also used in some uh, other Linux distributions but it is not uh, as much famous as Deb and RPM package the next uh, configuration is uh, extra image features that is set to debug tweaks so extra image features uh, is a variable that specifies additional feature to be included in the target image so right now we have set it to the debug tweaks so debug tweak is uh, the one of the feature that can be included in the image so the resulting image will contain tools and utilities that can help uh, for debugging we can also see here like uh, if we have debug tweaks then it adds <coughs> SSH and root access with a blank password it means that when we boot we don't need any password and we also have the SSH like through internet using SSH protocol we can also access our embedded board furthermore there are packages like debug package it includes like debugging tools, debugging and profiling tools source package it includes source code for debugging tools and dev packages add the dev packages for all installed packages it means like we will our image will also contain the dev package of every each and every package that is installed for example if we are using debian then it will be dot dev and if we are using uh, rpm then it will be a tar or rpm package but it will increase our size the size of the image by a lot of uh, MBs or maybe to 2 GB because it takes a lot of space then we have this uh, tool SDK it all it adds the development tools like GCC compiler this is the C compiler the make tool the package config tool and furthermore if we add tool debug then it will also have this GNU debugger asterisk it the Yocto Pokey also supports this uh, Eclipse debugging if you are using e Eclipse uh, for programming and for debugging then it will also add this Eclipse uh, functionality other profiling tools there are also like these are some advanced tools that can be installed but this is a late topic so these all uh, configurations we can add through extra image features right now it is debug tweaks but we can also have multiples con multiple configurations we can here we, we just put the space here and we can write the new one for example if we write this then it will implement both of them but right now we are doing only debug tweaks but again it will if we add these then it will increase the size of our image in the debug image we can add them to debug our to debug the fault or to see what happens or why we are getting error but in the final image in the release version we don't normally use these so the next configuration is user classes build state so the build state class uh, records the performance uh, statistics about each task executed uh, and do, uh, each task executed during the build building process so there are a couple of tasks that take or that you have to execute to build a particular package so it fetches the package then it unpacks the package and then configures and then patch and then install or compile and then install so all these pack all these steps take some time and to see to analyze the standard how much time does a particular step of a particular package took the build state saves all of them and where we can see this if we go back here in our sources in our temp folder here you see that here is a folder known named as build states and if we go inside build states and inside this folder again here you can see the name of all packages that our Yocto image contains and if you go for example in one of them 
uh, let's choose this one the first one here you see there are steps as I told earlier fetch then uh, unpack then uh, patch maybe yeah patch configure compile install deploy populate remove and all of them and it takes some time so if we see how much time this fetching process took we can see by opening this and here we can see that fetch took around 0.12 seconds and likewise if we see the compile so for this particular package the compile it took like 19.4 seconds to compile so this is a good tool or good utility to analyze the bottlenecks uh, of our build system that which image or which particular package took the longest so maybe if we don't need them we can remove them or if we need them we can leave them as it is and so on the next uh, configuration is patch resolve loop so what does it mean this patch resolve takes actually two <coughs> variables not two variables the two values there are two possible values that this patch resolve can take first is the noob and other is user by default it is noob what does it mean so as we saw earlier that here we have a two patch step so if something happens like if our patch step fails and it does not patch our file correctly so if this patch resolve is set to noob then it will raise an error and our build process will stop and if it's set to user instead of noob and if something happens during this patching step it will open a terminal and it will tell us to resolve this issue manually so then we can resolve this issue manually and then we can build it again but normally we don't use the user we use this noob so if any error occurs we know that this error occurred and then we can change it or we can remove this error and then we can build it again but not in the terminal but after the error I will tell you how to write a patch and how to implement a patch in later videos the next configuration is PB disk mon TIRs this is very important and we should always have this in our local.conf we can also remove this but it is highly highly recommended to have this what does it do for example let us take this first first line it says stop task 10 dir 1 gig what does it mean it means that it, it monitors the disk, disk space and during the build and allows you to control the build based on these parameters if you're using a stop task and temp dir if the the disk in which temp dir folder is present if the size of the disk is reduced and it is less than or equal to 1 gb all current tasks will be completed and after that the build will stop no new task will be initiated so it means that if the disk space is less than or equal to 1 gb all current tasks will be completed the tasks are these tasks i mean the fetch install compile deploy any of them the current task will be completed and then the build process will stop if now for the halt if the disk size if the disk size in which temp dir is present if the disk size of that disk is less than or equal to 100 mb the all tasks either running or not will immediately stop and our build process will stop completely it will not wait to complete all the current tasks but it will stop completely and if the disk size is less than or equal to 100 mb so this is kind of a safety mechanism because if there will be no disk space remained then 
maybe next time if you boot our system the system our our pc the pc will not boot and you will get an error or it will get corrupt or something like that so this is very important to have in our local.com file same goes for the download dir state so but normally we have all three in the same directory but we have to put these checks the stop and halt checks to for the safety reasons the next is conf version conf version is used to specify the version of the configuration syntax to use uh, so yocto has some new uh, features and some new syntax so if we so previously uh, old in old versions the conf version will be one but right now it is conf version two because we are using new syntax and this uh, determines which syntax the build system you should use when parsing the configuration files like local dot conf and bblayers.conf so in earlier version it is one and but in practice the this is two in local dot conf uh, and it enables to use of new features and new syntax in Jocto so we will in older version it will automatically be one but in newer version it will automatically two so we don't change anything in here these are the two settings that I add by myself first one is remove old image and second is inherit remove work so let us talk about remove old image the settings remove old image to one means that Yocto will remove the old image before building the new one uh, which helps uh, to avoid issue with leftover files and dependencies from previous build like if I have if I go here in my build folder deploy images bigger than black and here are the image files sorry here are the image files so if it is not set to one these image files will remain here and new files will be created so it will also create a lot of confusion and it will also create a lot of it will also consume a lot of space so when we set this to one before build it will delete all of them and then it will create the new one so and so in this way it will be more clean the next is remove work what does it mean so the remove work class is used to remove uh, temporary working files after a package has been built <coughs> previously I showed you in work folder here for example in cortex here and in bash for example so right now it is clean it is clean because I said here remove work if I don't set it clean then the sources and the build files and all binaries would would be would have been remained here but if I do if I do set this to remove work then it will remove this the benefit or the advantage of this is that these files which are not necessary for the package to function properly uh, it may take up uh, disk space and if we remove this then it will not use a lot of space so it builds a package it takes the binary it puts in the image and then it removes it removes all the unnecessary data so in this way our disk space is used less and our image is also clean so this is the end of the video hope you like this video and in the next section or in the next video we will talk about bblayers.conf file thank you for watching